this is the rolling chassis and uh, Maurizio Reggiani will start from here. Grazie. Grazie, Winkerman. Good morning to everybody. Now uh, we start from uh, this, uh, uh, let me say, rolling chassis because today we must uh, discover why the new Huracan delivery exceptional driving experience. And uh, to, to understand this, uh, I will take you in a tour inside the Huracan technology. And this is exactly what you can see in this uh, rolling chassis, but is also something that I want to summarize in chapter now before to start to go deeply in every detail. First of all, we will see what uh, for us is uh, the human interface of the Huracan. We'll move to the, our V10 5.2 liter naturally aspirated engine. We will move to the new dual clutch gearbox Lamborghini Doppia Frizione LDF that is something really innovative and uh, special for our Huracan. After we have the four-wheel drive system that uh, also in this case is a completely redefined and we will appreciate later. We have electromechanical power steering and the LDS Lamborghini Dynamic Steering that is really unique. The double wishbone suspension and magne magnetoreological dampers and uh, something that is really new and uh, I will explain later in a better way that is uh, Lamborghini Piattaforma Inerziale, something that is derived from aeronautic industry and the for, for the first time apply in a car business. Another important issue for a super sport car are sure brake and tires that is the junction between uh, the car and the road and uh, something that uh, is really special and is the best integration of the competence of light material coming from Audi, coming from Lamborghini and merged together in this uh, fantastic uh, new hybrid chassis for the Huracan. But uh, since it's all about uh, driving performance, I have asked our top driver, Job Sa Giorgio Sanna, to help me in this uh, virtual tour. Giorgio Sanna is our chief test driver and is surely the man on earth that has driven more kilometers with the new Huracan. Ciao Giorgio. Ciao Maurizio. Are you Morning. ready to support me in this voyage to discover the new super sport car? Yes, absolutely. Uh, as you know, I had the chance to uh, develop the, the new Huracan to test in all the uh, conditions and uh, uh, as usually happens when uh, I have the opportunity to, to work and drive uh, uh, on this kind of project, it becomes a, a very great experience. So if you are agree, I would like to explain in a few words uh, how the drivers can feel in, uh, in the car. Sure, Giorgio, go and we will virtually follow you on this kind of experience. Perfect. Prego. Lamborghini Huracan. Let me explain the new multifunction steering wheel where we have introduced uh, the side light indicator, the wipers, the dynamic mode uh, selector with the Strada Sport and Corsa mode, with the new bigger shifting pedals. The first feeling is to have everything under control. About the new TFT instrument panel, you have different layout. You can choose the bigger counter that is more racetrack oriented or with a simple click, choose the odometer configuration. As a third option, you can choose the configuration with the odometer and the navigation system screen. Last but not least, there is the option with the full screen navigation system. About the central console, we have the new engine start button. But honestly speaking, what I like more is to push it. Now let's go to see what we have done during the development of the new Lamborghini Huracan. Okay, 
Now we go more in detail in what uh, George explained before. We start from what we call a human interface. When uh, you are seated in a, a car, in a super sport car, the steering wheel is the first uh, approach that you have with the car and is uh, where you expect to have, uh, let me say, the first confidence with the car. For this reason, we redefine completely the philosophy of our steering wheel, integrating inside uh, the main function that a driver must perform during the use of the car. We have in this uh, left side uh, upper part, let me call, the high beam and the blinkers. In the right side end parts, we have the washer and the wiper. We have on the, let me say, uh, lower central parts, uh, uh, some uh, uh, button that are for uh, uh, scrolling the menu, we'll see later the function, and uh, in the central there is what uh, uh, for us is really something completely new, is what we call anima. I will come later to the description of what means anima and what are the main functions that we can have on this button. But it's clear that the driver, when sitting in a car, have immediately in front of him and he, he can touch this kind of uh, uh, tool that is not only a steering. What is important is that the layout of this steering is not made by chance. We made a really big investigation in a neurological chance in order to have, with the support of different universities, an approach about what happened in terms of uh, instinctive when you are in a condition that you must operate it really fast and what the brain is able to perform in a best way. And based on uh, uh, different analysis, different study made on a population of driver, uh, professional, normal driver, and so, what was achieved is that normally our attention is uh, keep from uh, a positioning that uh, is in the top uh, of the steering wheel, in the half top of the steering wheel. And uh, where normally the reaction of the brain is faster is in the left side, because normally you use the right parts of the brain and the operation coming from the left. For this reason, we decided to put in the upper parts what can be the safety function, like the high beam, because when you, uh, uh, you see another car, you need to have this really faster, and the wiper, because in case that you have a dirty on the screen, you must be really fast to operate. For the side indicator, in the left side, you see, is where the majority of the people put pressure and in this position, we put the blinker of the parts. In the other side, there is the normal operation of the, of the blinker. This was uh, the briefing that we assigned to our colleague of the Centro Stile in order to design what uh, our brain thinking is the best for using of the car. And this was the philosophy that generated this first part of the human interface of the new Huracan. When we go to the uh, instrument cluster, we talk about something that is really unique at this moment in the car business. We have 12.3-inch uh, TFT virtual instruments that uh, give a, immediately a completely picture of the car. And like Giorgio said before, we can choose from different uh, uh, appearance. We have the classic one where you can have uh, odometer on the car and the function of uh, temperature, fuel, and some other indication. You can switch from uh, RPM counter to the odometer, but uh, every driver can decide, for example, if you use uh, a normal DVD or a tuning system or Navi, that is normally what is uh, more often used, you can have the both uh, representation in front of your eyes, means you don't need uh, to remove the visibility from the center, looking in the side, but you have everything in front of your eyes. And uh, it's clear that, for example, if you arrive too close to, uh, I don't know, a, a downtown where speed is not so important, driving experience is uh, in, a normal in a normal town, you can have a maximized uh, infotainment system, including Navi, where you have everything in front of your eyes uh, and you have uh, on side the main car indication like speed, like fuel, like temperature, and so. In this way, our driver can really choose based on the using of the car what is better for the every kind of condition and sure to guarantee to have the 
uh, more easy user of our Huracan. Now we came to the famous red button, the Anima. Anima is an acronym that uh, means Adaptive Network Intelligence Management, but also Anima in Italian is a soul, soul of the, of the man, of the, of the body. And for us, Anima is a soul of the car, is the really the function that is able to manage the intelligence of the car. You will see during the presentation how many of uh, the functions that we have installed are steer and managed from this Anima. Here we put uh, a, a short summary. We go from the engine response and sound, means acceleration, uh, the RPM, the responsiveness of the engine, and also the sound. The gearbox behavioral is uh, one of the field where you perceive immediately the difference between one selection and the other, but also the dynamic steering, the four-wheel drive system, and uh, the magnetological dampers present in the car. Okay, now what do, what do you have here is a sound of our V10 engine that is one of the more particular uh, sound that you can have in our car. And it's clear that uh, this represents uh, one of the pe peculiarities of the Lamborghini. In order to achieve uh, this uh, uh, music, we, uh, we, uh, we decided to uh, use a completely redefined 5.2 liter naturally aspirated engine, means the pure DNA of the super sport car, where we, for the first time, uh, we introduce uh, a completely new system of uh, injection, means uh, we merge uh, MPI system with uh, iniezione diretta stratificata. This is really something unique that uh, allowed our car to have uh, the possibility to fulfill Euro 6 because MPI is mainly oriented and dedicated to the particular emission and uh, the mix of the two injections allowed us to reach uh, an outstanding performance in terms of torque of the, of, the, of the engine. Like a result, we have a CO2 emission that are 11% less compared to the uh, old Gallardo. We improve the power to 610 horsepower, like was mentioned before. And uh, we have uh, introduced uh, stop and start function that uh, is allowed, uh, is a big contributor to the, to the uh, CO2 and fuel consumption reduction. If we go to see the shape of the curve of the torque and uh, consequently also the power, you can see that the violet curve of the Huracan is much, much better compared to the old Gallardo. And also at low speed, you, you can see immediately the improving coming from this. And like I, I mentioned before, we are, are able, due to the new intake manifold and exhaust manifold, to increase the fluidodynamic efficiency of the engine and really to fulfill uh, this, uh, uh, the drop that was in the, uh, in the old Gallardo and to have something that is outstanding in terms of uh, elasticity of the car and the reaction in acceleration. What is really important is that uh, uh, mainly due to the thermodynamic efficiency, means the combustion process and the new SEU, MED-17, that we have introduced in the Huracan, you can see here the reaction time of the Gallardo that is really impressive, uh, uh, the Huracan is uh, impressive compared to Gallardo. In the actuation, uh, full throttle, you see base time uh, RPM increasing how fast uh, react the Huracan in every condition. This, uh, for a super sport car, is really important, give uh, uh, an emotion in the tip-in of the engine that is something really unbelievable. Now we came to, let me say, another revolution of uh, Huracan. The request was to have a car that can be used in uh, day by day for uh, downtown, for, uh, to go to the work uh, and so, but can be also chameleontic and can be arrived to be used also on the racetrack and to be the best in class in terms of performance. Uh, the solution that we decide uh, for this car, for this kind of uh, range of performance that was a request, was to use uh, Lamborghini Doppia Frizione. Lamborghini Doppia Frizione is a seven-speed gearbox where is, are installed two uh, coaxial 
clutch of 200 millimeter. We use the same diameter for both clutch because in this way we can uh, uh, guarantee that the torque distribution is exactly the same in the uh, gear uh, pair and the not pair gears. And uh, uh, what is really important is that uh, in this gearbox we install a different function that are really uh, important. Based on what I mentioned before, you see that uh, Anima operated in the gearbox. There is also another function that I will describe later, that is what we call LPI, Lamborghini Piattaforma Inerziale, that uh, have influence also on this kind of behavior. But what is important is that in this gearbox, uh, we install uh, all what uh, is requested. Uh, gearbox is able to provide a smooth shifting without any kind of torque interruption, means uh, car is really easy to use, uh, can start uh, without any kind of jump in every condition. But uh, we have also installed different functions. One, for example, is a launch control where car can achieve, due, mainly due to the gearbox, a, a outstanding uh, acceleration without any kind of uh, torque interruption, but something like uh, a torque reaction in the shifting. And uh, we have uh, in, a, in a Corsa mode, uh, a pre-selection downshifting, where if you use the car in the racetrack and you want really to enjoy, if you pull for more of 50, 500 milliseconds the downshifting lever, the car automatically is able to downshift to the lower gear that is possible to use for this kind of using, for this kind of cornering that you approach. What is uh, also peculiar for a Lamborghini is the four-wheel drive system. Uh, we came from the old Gallardo, from a visco-coupling solution, and uh, what we decide for the Huracan is to put uh, what is the state of the art, means a full electronic control four-wheel drive system, where for the first time we are able to do something that is really special. We have a, a nominal torque distribution of 30% in the front and 70% on the rear, that is, from dynamic point of view, what uh, is the best starting point, but we are able to transfer to the front till 50% of the torque, and what is really astonishing is that we are able to move in the rear of the car also till 100%, means in some dynamic condition we can have something really, let me say, like a two-wheel drive uh, in some extreme condition. Also, this system, like you can see, is fully integrated, means it's part of the strategy and the logic that we have installed in the Anima and in the Piattaforma Inerziale. Here you can see uh, in a more, let me say, easy way what happened uh, to the car, means uh, uh, there is a dynamic representation of, uh, of the distribution of the force when you accelerate and you, you, you run on this uh, kind of system. Now we go to the steering. Steering system is uh, another of the most important issue in a car, is what you use to control the car, is uh, what uh, gives to you the feeling that the car is able to follow what you want to do. And only if the steering wheel is uh, able to react uh, like the expectation, you can say you can be safe in the car and you can really push everything at the limits. In our system, we have tried to put uh, all what uh, is uh, the best of the technology in, uh, in uh, available at the moment. Means in this kind of system, you can have uh, a completely different ratio between uh, steering and wheel due to LEDS, Lamborghini Dynamic Steering. And here there is an example of what happened when you operated. You can see in Strada, with the same angle of the steering wheel, what are the travel of the tire in Strada and in Corsa, that are the two programs that we have in, uh, in our Anima. And uh, when you selected the Corsa mode, uh, what happened is something completely different. What means this? Is that our customer can choose uh, based on uh, what they want to use the car. For example, if they, are, uh, if they need uh, to park the car, they have uh, a more easy 
maneuvre due to the fact uh, that they have a, a low speed, high ratio, and they can make the maneuver with a, a big angle on the wheel, and they can make everything uh, easy. But with the increasing of the speed or with the changing of the mood, the car is able to react in a completely different way and to give more direct behavioral, to be more precise, and to give a really more dynamics effect. In a super sport car, the Lamborghini dynamic steering is the first application of this kind of concept. Means uh, we put uh, a flag to say that super sport car is also based on this kind of new technology. Now, there was a film that explained better what happened with the Lamborghini. Okay, the other important uh, parts of the, of the chassis is related to the suspension. Suspension uh, that we have on the Huracan is a double wishbone suspension and can be coupled with uh, a magnet or rheological dampers. This uh, kind of uh, uh, solution allowed us to have uh, really the best dynamic behavior of the car, but also in this case, uh, uh, our customer can customize the reaction of the car, means can uh, be a, a really comfortable uh, uh, reaction if you are in a downtown, if you are on the pavé or in some condition where the road, uh, the, the street is really raw, you can have in Strada a really smooth dynamic behavioral, but if you move to uh, sport and course of the car change completely the dynamic behavioral of the suspension and in this case can react really like a super sport car uh, without to have any kind of hesitation in the sharp cornering of the track or in the dynamic use of the car on the hill or on the mountains. And also these two systems are linked again with the Anima and the Lamborghini Piattaforma Inerziale. Now we came to this famous Lamborghini Piattaforma Inerziale. Uh, what I mentioned before is really something uh, unique because uh, normally this is a system that is used in aeronautics or in the rockets to be able to uh, calculate in real time the positioning of the airplane or of the rockets. And normally in the car business, everything, uh, this kind of uh, analysis is made due to calculation. Calculation is time. And for us, time is against super sport car. What was developed was uh, a system, an SU, that we have uh, in the center of gravity of the car, where are installed three accelerometer and three gyroscope that uh, allowed to have uh, in a fast way as possible, because we give uh, immediately the information to the flex uh, rail uh, line, and means is available uh, to the to the brain of the car, all the information that are related to what happened in, uh, in uh, the main function of the car. And uh, at the end are the wheel. But uh, in this way, we are able to uh, give uh, the input to the system like, uh, uh, like uh, steering, like uh, uh, suspension, like uh, uh, electronic stability control, like gearbox, uh, like engine, to react exactly in order to have the best result. This is something really unique. You will, I hope, experience soon in our car where you see that the car is really able to react faster of your imagination in every kind of dynamic condition. Here we arrive really uh, of a joint between car and the street. The two main, or the main uh, actor of this are brake, for the brake, we have a completely new brake system 
380 millimeter carboceramic disc in the front and 356 uh, disc in the rear, six caliper and uh, four calipers front and rear. And uh, due to this, we are able to achieve an astonishing performance of uh, from 100 km per hour to zero in only 31.9 meter. The other important, uh, let me say, parts of the puzzle are the tire. Tire is, uh, let me say, is a last uh, connection point with the street. Uh, for uh, Huracan, we develop a completely new P0 with Pirelli. Is, uh, let me say, is uh, a long study because it is a, a tire that must guarantee the right uh, rolling comfort, uh, but also to be able to react uh, in a more extreme uh, way when we are in the proving ground, when we are on the tracks, and uh, to guarantee to have the right wearing, the right uh, rolling resistance that uh, is uh, so important for the CO2, and uh, to be able, let me say, to give to all our customers the right confidence and the right uh, feeling with the street when you push uh, full throttle acceleration or brake uh, in our car. Now we can see another small video about the tires and brakes. Now, the, let me say, is one of the last parts of the, of the car because uh, chassis is a skeleton of the car. Is uh, what uh, at the end uh, create the right connection uh, between all the components that uh, we seen before, including uh, also safety requirement that was not mentioned because for us it's clear are mandatory for a car that must be sold worldwide. Uh, hybrid chassis was really a let me say, a really marvelous experience of engineering because you can imagine uh, the difficulty to, to start to think uh, integration of different material. One is isotropic and the other not isotropic. To define what are the right percentage, the right position of every material. This was uh, possible due to the uh, huge experience of Audi in uh, aluminium. Our experience derived from the Ventador in carbon fiber, and uh, the game, the exercise, was exactly to define where every material must be only due to the mission of every centimeter of the monocoque. If it is uh, related to stiffness, if it is related to weight, is related to safety, we define at the end what is uh, the best for the Huracan. And the best for the Huracan was, uh, let me say, surprise also Lamborghini, because we achieve a, an increase of the stiffness that is uh, so important for the super sport car of 50%, and this 50% was achieved without to increase one gram the weight of the chassis, but from the other side, achieving a decrease of 10% of the weight of the chassis. And, uh, we are really proud to say that this is uh, the first uh, application of this material. And uh, application means also solve together different problems that are related to the junction. Uh, if uh, in the junction uh, to use glue, to use rivets, to put in a hoen, to core together, this was part of the technology that we developed together and today is a part of the know-how that we have uh, between us and Audi. We arrive uh, more or less uh, at the, at the moments when uh, there is a merge between us, uh, engineering, and designer. We are all under one roof, but uh, you can imagine there is uh, a, normally a, a line of division. And aerodynamic is what I call every time is the judge of this division, because uh, at the end, uh, the team of Filippo must, uh, sure, design the best car of the world, but the design have a strong influence in uh, all what is aero-cooling of the car, means dynamics 
aerodynamics and also cool efficiency. What uh, at the end the team was able to achieve also in this case is something that is really astonished compared to the previous uh, Gallardo. We uh, were able to reduce 3% of the drag force, means the six uh, of the car, but achieving an increase of the 50% of the downforce and compared to the old Gallardo to have a really big improvement in the aerodynamic balance, means we were really able to put more downforce in the front and what is really important, and we are proud of this, one of the briefings that we received was also not to use any kind of movable uh, flap, spoiler, and so in order to have a really lean and uh, perfect design. And this was achieved without any kind of uh, movable parts like happened before in other cars. At the end, the uh, increased car efficiency, that is a ratio between uh, drag and uh, downforce, uh, is a global increasing of 8%. To achieve this, we made uh, several studies together with the design, together with the, our aerodynamic uh, people, in order to guarantee cooling, drag force, perfect uh, air distribution that is also mandatory for the comfort in the car. If you don't have the right, uh, let me say, flow, you can have immediately wind noise, you can have uh, 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 turbulence, and everything was made in order to such air from the engine bay to put in the right position, to have the right uh, working of every surface in order to compensate the missing of the flap. And also, in the under parts of the car was made a really big investigation in order to have a really clean underfloor and efficiency rear diffuser that allowed to achieve the result that uh, I mentioned before. At the end, uh, let me say, all what we describe uh, must be measurable, must be a number, otherwise uh, it's only we talk about nothing. What uh, we uh, were able to achieve is a unique driving performance that can be summarized in this uh, some number, 0 100 in 3.2 seconds, 0 to 100 km per hour in 9.9 .9 seconds and top speed superior to 325 km per hour. A power to weight ratio that is really excellent, that is 2.33 kg on horsepower, that for handling is really a must. Braking space is uh, uh, 31.9 meter, 100 to 0, that is 1.1 meter better of the previous Gallardo that was already a state of the art in the braking. And uh, here what you see on the, on the screen is uh, uh, the proving ground of Nardo. I don't know who have uh, the chance to experience, but for us is more or less our, our uh, let me say, uh, house for developing the car and to measure the result that we achieve. Means we have all our parameters, all our uh, reference are in this track that is more or less 5.6 km, if I remember right, is really marvelous, inspired to Nurburgring with up and down. And uh, with the uh, Huracan, we were able to achieve a lap time that is two seconds better of a Gallardo, that Gallardo was already benchmarked in Nardo proving ground. This is uh, the final result of what uh, we achieve uh, in terms of uh, technical development.